Oh, look at this. Settings. Oh. Uh. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Um. Oh my God. Ah. 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 Yes. What? Random critters will appear instead of blood splatter? Okay. Uh, graphics. Display mode. Not exclusive. Full screen. Borderless. Okay. Um, let's put everything on the highest. Um... Uh, yes. Hold on. Thank you for the bless these guys. Just making sure there's no, like, ultra. Okay. I think we're good. Sound, subtitles, supply. Constantly. Yes. All right, dudes. Let's do it. We as developers are always striving to improve our work. To this end, we need information we can only get from you. By allowing sending the game statistics to us, you can help us learn more about the way you play and what difficulties you encounter in our game. Only our developers will have access to your game experience data and bug reports. You may disable telemetry in the setting menu at any time. Would you like to enable sending? I would do this, but honestly, I really don't like people knowing how I play games. It's one of the reasons that I just, I absolutely hate things like Twitch and, and people seeing what I'm doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just, we'll do okay to that. Uh, oh my lord, look at this. Unfair mode? Um, I think we can try hard. Let's do hard mode. Your character will suffer full damage from enemies. Enemies will have increased power and will have the usual chances of inflicting critical hits. Your character will die after suffering a deadly in, uh, injury. Okay. Think this sounds good? Kahua! Thank you for the five gift bomb. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I think this sounds good. I un unfair modes. I, I again, I would do unfair mode if I knew what this game was. But I have no idea what like I have no clue what this means. I don't even know how to play the game. Enemies will have significantly increased power and will enjoy the usual chances of inflicting critical hits. Well, this actually doesn't seem it's just the party. Yeah. Yeah. I think normal would probably be good. So, And also, it's permadeath. Your character will not die after suffering an injury in, in that mode. Let's do hard. I'm going to try hard mode. Let's give it a try. This may be terrible. Select a character. We're creating a new character. Look at these portraits, man. Oh, he looks pretty chill. Ooh. I think I'm gonna go with this guy, because I kinda wanna be a mage caster. Let's do it, man. Oh my lord, look at this. Okay, I'm actually okay with this because it looks like it matched it to the character that I picked it. Oh, he's left-handed. Hell yeah. Dwarves, elves, gnomes, half-elves, half-orc, and receive a plus two racial bonus to perception. Cool. Elves receive a plus two racial bonus on caster level checks made to overcome spell resistance. Cool. Uh, oh, yeah, we can turn that off. Thank you. You guys need to see this. Uh, yeah, this all looks good. Oh, beard, of course. Tell me elves get beards. <gasps> Do elves not get beards? Wait, this might change everything. Um, nah, it's fine. Class. 
alchemist. This is like an item creator. Oh my god. Sweet mother of mercy. Um, oh, and then we have to pick a subclass too? Oh, Jesus. All right, barbarians. Uh, okay. Pretty standard fare from the looks of it. Cool, cool, cool. A bard. Confuse and confound while inspiring their allies. Okay, pretty, pretty standard bard stuff. Cleric, our big healer, domain selection, holy shit, druid, companion summoners, blight druid, this, dude, this reminds me of, like, PoE with the subclasses and everything, and this, like, completely changes some of their skills, like, these, these are, like, classes in themselves, Oh, here. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. Oh. So this is, this is stand, this is just like Neverwinter Nights 2. Okay. Interesting. So a dragon disciple doesn't necessarily need to be a specific spellcaster, just as long as they have the ability to spontaneously cast arcane spells at the first level. Sorcerers excel at casting a selection of favorite spells frequently, making them powerful battle mages as they become familiar with a specific and ever-widening set of spells. Sorcerers often discover new and versatile ways of making use of magic and other spellcasters might overlook. Their bloodlines also grant them additional abilities, ensuring that no two sorcerers are ever quite alike. Oh, I think I'm going to do Sorcerer. Yeah. I think we're going to do Sorcerer. That sounds fun. Although, it's a Magus. Oh, interesting. A Magus is, like, all around. Hmm. Eldritch Scion. Sword Saint. Oh, and an Archer. Mm. Your heavenly power derives from insight rather than force or personality. Whoa. Your ties to nature have more to do with creatures than with capriciousness. Did you really just say capriciousness? Oh my lord. Your magic comes from the knowledge and traditions of your bloodlines accumulated through the generations. I kind of like this. I kind of want to do a sage sorcerer. Oh, that's a fun ability. Yeah, let's do this. What do you guys think? Look good? Yeah, I really like that do-nothing skill. That's a good one. I agree. Although, I don't know if we should do that or maybe a base sorcerer. Oh, this guy has access to bloodlines. Okay, so maybe... Yeah, okay. Let's, let's, let's do this. We're gonna, we're gonna be a base sorcerer. Man, these are so cool. Look at wizard.
Wizards do all sorts of good stuff. Arcane Bomber. Thass... Thassilonian Specialist. Good God. These names are insane. Alright, I'm picking... I just have to pick one. So we're doing a Sorcerer. This is happening. Chat, that just happened. Um, oh my God. Dude. <laughs> Abyssal bloodline? Oh, Jesus. Um. I kind of, like, if I want to do that dragon class, do I have to have a dragon bloodline? Out of curiosity? Won't you have to redo this every time you die on hard mode? Well, no, I can save it. Yeah. Dublive says, go back to the prestige class. You need to check the prereqs. Well, the, the thing that all it says I need is the ability to instant cast level one spells. I have no idea. I don't know if that's something that we just see, but yeah. I think that we're doing okay currently, maybe, hopefully. Ooh, we can grow claws. Oh, that sounds fun. Okay. Oh, spontaneously cast arcane spells as Bard or Sork. Perfect, so I can do that. Okay, great. What does Infernal do? Infernal's like demons. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go dragon. I just don't know which dragon I want yet. The gold dragon sounds kind of cool. Also, the white dragon sounds kind of badass. Um, and I mean, the black sounds awesome too. I want all of them. <laughs> I want. I want all the dragons. Um. Gold is a good dragon. Chromatics are evil and metallics are good. Dude. Uh, should we be doing the gold dragon? I think we should do the gold dragon. I'm doing... I'm, but I like gold! There we go. Perfect. <sighs> okay. Um, so... Probably pretty important for me are going to be Int. I'm, I'm probably going to want some good Int here. But maybe not that much Int. What does Dex do? Charisma is my casting stat. Oh. Hmm. If charisma is my casting stat, do I want a different? Do I want to be a human or something? I thought I was going caster, so I wanted to be an elf. Oh. Cool. Let's let's change it up a little bit then. You look ridiculous. Um. Yeah, I want a charisma type person. I don't have quite as many portraits as I was hoping. They're really nice though. That does kind of have a golden dragon look to it, doesn't it? Actually, that's kind of perfect for our character now that I'm looking at it. Yeah. Oh wait, he doesn't get a... Oh, no, 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 wait. Now we want here. Human, do humans have a charisma? Oh, we can get a beard. Thank God. Um, I 
The character gets a plus two bonus to an ability of their choice. Okay, but what are his stats? Oh, 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 cool. They don't have any bonuses. Oh, that's still better than what I had, so. Why am I not getting any... Shouldn't this stuff be moving around when I select it? Half Elf doesn't have any bonuses either? Oh. This doesn't seem right. But no penalties either. Yeah, it's a good point. How do how do I choose it myself? Let's go human if it doesn't have anything. That's fine. Not really digging the golden lipstick, but you know, we'll figure it out. And I got a beard that's not in there, but we're doing it live. Okay. So if I wanted to do a oh, racial bonus. Oh, here we go. There it is. Alright, cool. So that's what it is normally. Okay. So we'll put it like there. And then we'll do some con. Do I need anything else? Do I need decks or... Is there anything else I need? I can go ahead and max this. Like that. Dex is AC? I can do it like that. How's that look? Eleven, fifteen, twenty. Just read what each does? Oh, well, it's not not necessarily knowing what they are, but which, you know... Yeah, we'll have to see. There, there's, there's, man, there's so many different directions we can go with this. This is crazy. Uh, notice finer details, see danger coming, perception allows you to read secret messages, get hunches, notice creatures. Okay, that's kind of huge. I also want persuasion. Um, let's do knowledge arcana, too. Your modifiers need to go up to get higher AC. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 you're saying so my modifier need to be like that. Yeah, and then I can put like a... Oh, no, that takes it down. I want plus one. Okay. Well, I'm assuming we'll get more points. So we can, you know, we'll put them in as we get them into different places. I want a little bit more int. Because, I mean, that does some important stuff, right? The number of skill points gained each level. Yeah, I definitely want to get int up. I can take down some strength. That's a good point. That's a good point. And I don't need... Do, what, what is wisdom for? Character's willpower, common sense. Oh, that's that's a lot of resist stuff. I don't want to lower that too much. Oh, perceptions and lore checks too. So we're going to keep that at 10. Um, okay. I think this is a good, a good start. I think this is a good start. Um, yeah. Let's do it, man. I, I just gotta I just gotta make choices. We're doing it, man. We're doing it. Um I have one more point. I guess we'll put it here and use magic device. Yeah. Okay. So that's the only one that adds another hit point. Hmm. Kind of like the all-around stats. This game an RPG? This game is a super, super big RPG. Yeah. Yeah, I could be encumbered, but I'll have I'll have other people in the party that can that can carry stuff. Hopefully. Chat, we're gonna do it live. Sweet mother of Jesus. Um, just a just a couple things to pick from. Uh, hmm. 
You are adept at spellcasting when threatened. You get a plus four bonus for concentration made to a spell check or spell like ability. Yes. This is going to be stuff we're going to learn throughout the game. I kind of do want Persuasive. Shielded Caster? Your allies cover you while you cast compl complicated spells. That's kind of fun. Oh, and then Spell Focus. We'll get that too. Uh, what are What is my main spell type? Uh, probably evocation. I'll, I may come back here. I'm going to do evocation for now, but I may come back here. Oh, and this is a sorcerer bonus feat. Um, probably spell pen, yeah? Plus two bonus on caster level check. We could also do a meta magic. Quicken spell is very powerful in D&D &D 5e. Yeah. Think quicken spell would be good. Get improved initiative as well. Meta magic is for later. Oh. This isn't 5e though, people are saying in chat. This is 3.5. Meta magic is useless at the beginning. Okay, we'll we'll do meta magic later. I think I kind of want to go with spell pen. I think that'd be a good place to start. There we go. Do I actually pick spells? Ah, here we go. Oh, wow. All right. Um, all right. So we get, what, two spells? I'm probably going to want something that can do damage. And something that can help us with a little bit of... Uh, How about Magic Missile? That's Evocation too. So we can do a little bit of magic stuff. A little bit of range. And then maybe I saw this Summon Monster? What do you guys think about that? I feel like having a Summon early game would be pretty good. Oh, you think Mage Armor would be good? An invisible but tainted field force surrounds it. Yeah, okay. Those are, those are great, solid starting spells. We do it my way. Get it off me. Our time has come. This is my path. I feel faint. Let's hear you cry. I didn't even break a sweat. I kind of like that one. Calm down. Not dead yet. I'll go ahead. That kind of fits that look, doesn't it? Time's not waiting. We will be victorious. Mm. Yeah. I didn't even break a sweat. Oh, I choose alignment. Uh. I think this probably represents me best in real life. Yeah. I'm going with chaotic neutral. 
Man, dude, I can't believe how cool this character creation process is. Like, this is insane. Um, yeah, I don't. That's the way I want to play. I want to do that. Oh, I just realized something, though. I should have a fire skill instead of magic missile, shouldn't I? And actually, yeah, we can do chaotic good. I think chaotic good is probably a little bit better. Yeah. Um, let's let's pick a fire spell. What is flame burst? Uh, uh, no, I just need like a fireball. I need I need like a burning hands is cool, but I don't want the cone. My bloodline also gives you mage armor at level three. Oh yeah, look at that. Good, thank you, chat. Okay, so I'm gonna wait on mage armor too. Okay, so we'll do. Yeah, there's only there's only like one. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get I'm gonna get. Uh, we'll do magic missile and we'll do burning hands, and that way we'll have two attack spells. And we'll wait until we get mage armor and hopefully live to level three. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, oh, or or what we could do? How much does burning hands do? One d four. This one does one d four too, right? So how about we do? Let's do a CC spell. Let's do sleep. This is a mez, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. I like this. We'll, we'll give this a try. All right, dudes. Dude, I, I could spend an entire stream just making characters. Like, oh my god. Wow. Wow. All right. Jeez. Our story started at the mansion of Boys the acting. sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Oh, it looks so good. Where are they? This is taking forever. It didn't even say what this was for, just that the Eldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Eldori anyway, rich folk? Is that low for you guys? I feel like that was low. Okay, uh, let me raise the game volume. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I may need to adjust it some more, but we'll try this first. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Eldori Sword Lords run the prim. Near school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And I like how it shows who's in the conversation. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Oh, I like that effect when they go behind things. That's good. It's a good way to do that. Greetings, everyone. <laughs> I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restov. Welcome to my mansion. <laughs> we thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless. Exactly what Restov needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, 
None of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Okay, so this is pretty cool. You can mouse over any green word, just like in PoE2, to get more details on it. Then if you right click, it turns it into a window. So then you can like keep reading it while they're... That's cool. I like that. Good touch. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you like and this title. Too. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? There's a whole team of us. Who exactly will receive the Baron's title? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? Oh, God. Little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Wow, that guy's kind of depressing. Um... Full screen borderless window. That's weird. It I have it set as borderless window, but when I tab out, it apparently tabs out. That's not what's supposed to happen. You jerk. Okay, anyway. Uh, okay. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. Oh, if I lock the mouse, you think it'll work? Oh, I actually need to do that anyway with multiple monitors. Let's do that. Um, cool. Good. Perfect. Okay. She takes a long pause, waiting for the voices to die down as everyone directs her attention towards her. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Why don't you just recognize the Stag Lord as a Baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> that's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. All right, Jamandi. You're helping us found a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? Fair point. We'll absorb the cost <laughs> of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Yeah, gas mask. I actually just, oh, first of all, Gray Mankle, thank you so much for your tip. I really appreciate that, buddy, and I feel you there. And yeah, I actually didn't know that Chris Avalone was part of this project until like just a couple days ago. Um, He's not only uh, somebody who's made phenomenal games, but he's also working on Dying Light 2, which I'm super excited to play when it comes out. So, yeah, man. I mean, any game with Chris, uh, you know, sign me up, pretty much. Words, words, words. Right? Significant. Financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. I like you, Amiri. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Uh, Kremnitz says, 
Um, is this game, how do you like the game so far? Would you recommend it to someone who fell in love with DS2? I, I'm gonna, it's gonna take me like at least a few hours of playing, if not a few days to answer something like that. Yeah. So far it's been awesome. Character creation kind of blew me away. Um, this is a big game from the looks of it. Like a big game. Uh, I'm starting to get pretty thankful that we don't have a lot of games coming out in October because this might be a while. Get comfy. Now you're talking. All right, it's clear as day. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage, the unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. 